Welcome back to Mini Brothers. Now, I got a package yesterday in the mail that I have been waiting for for weeks. We finally got the digital dash back. Now, if you've been following along, we have installed the head unit in the car and that came out of a 2022 uh, Countryman. This also came out of that car, so we had to send this off to get virginized. What that means is they take a chip off of the motherboard of the digital dash and they actually clear the VIN number of the old car from it. So we've got this now back, cleared, ready to get installed in the car. So let's get this in the car and let's get it coded. So that's one. Okay, two. And once you have those two bolts out, this just pulls right out. There is one cable in the back currently. Now the new, um, the new instrument cluster will actually have two cables. As you can see, there's the other cable that I need to plug into it right back there. So we're gonna uh, disconnect this cable and get the new one plugged in. Now, as you can see, we've taken the old uh, instrument cluster out. Uh, it just uh, bolts in in two places, one on this side right here and one on this side over here. So super easy to take it out. There's one cable that comes out of the old one and that is this cable here and that uh, plugs right into the digital dash. But for the digital dash, we also need this fiber optic most cable. So that also goes into the back of the digital dash. So we're gonna plug both of those in and get this digital dash all bolted up. Now, as you can see, we've got our digital dash all bolted up um, and all plugged in. So we're gonna go ahead and get to the computer now and get this coated in the car. We've gotta add one element to the overall order of the car and we should be able to just program this dash and get it working in the car. Okay, so we've got it all plugged in now, uh, as you can see. Uh, let's turn on the ignition and see what happens. Now, this shouldn't work out of the box. Um, I'm expecting a bunch of uh, warning lights and stuff. Um, uh, let me see if what happens if I try and start the car. As you can see, there's a bunch of different warnings. So the other thing you notice is that the RPMs don't work. So um, that all of this is to is expected when you first install it because it hasn't been coded to the car. So let's go back to the computer, code it to the car, and get it working properly. As always, if you're going to do any coding, you should have your car uh, connected to a battery tender. So I've got my battery tender all plugged up. We also, inside the car, we have the driver's side seatbelt plugged in. The lights are on um, parking lights and the ignition is on. Now, we also have our ENET cable and I'll leave a link to both the battery charger and the ENET cable uh, down below. Um, and we have our Windows laptop. So that is going to um, run the software we need to get this, get this coded. So the software we use to code um, the digital dash is called ESIS and it's a BMW diagnostic and coding software. Essentially all of these cars have a list of features that are programmed into the car. And when you, when you add something like a digital dash, what I had to do is fool the car into thinking it was a newer car and that it had this new feature, which is in this case 6WB. They're all denoted by these codes, these three and four digit codes. So we updated the car, told it it had this new feature, and then we programmed both the digital dash and the head unit because they talk to each other to recognize this digital dash. And after we did that, it worked. So we're coding the um, 
the digital dash right now and as you can see it just shows the hazard lights it's, it's off the radio the screen is on um, but nothing is showing so um, and as you can see on the laptop we're just going through the percentages loading up the software on the digital dash so we'll just wait for this for a second so I was getting this error on the digital dash and I realized that there were some extra elements added when I added the head unit that needed to be removed. And once I removed them, this worked fine. So this has got to be one of my favorite mods so far. Uh, I really like the digital dash and coupled with the new head unit, um, it really gives the interior uh, an updated feel. Uh, uh, you'll know this if you have one of the newer minis but I can't see myself going back to the analog dash. So if I do get another mini and it has that analog dash, this is definitely something that I think is worth the expense of getting it updated. Um, really happy that I did this one. The coding wasn't easy, but once, once you figured that out, it gets a little easier. So if you need some advice on that, feel free to reach out, leave it in the comments. Uh, and with that, like, we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, if you like the content, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. While you're down there, go ahead and subscribe. That helps us a lot.